Okay, today I'm gonna to show you what it's gonna to take to remove this fender. I've already removed it and replaced it, but I'm gonna go through the steps it takes to remove it and replace it and show you everything you need to know about doing that. The first thing you need to know is you wanna start in the engine compartment. So this is how that battery tray goes in there. There's three bolts in the back. So you need to remove this first. And then in the top of the fender, the underneath this, it runs underneath this, it, it, two uh, studs protrude through here and they have 10 millimeter bolts on. You gotta remove those in order to drop, to take this off. So you remove those, take those off, take these three bolts off, then you can pull this out. You also have to remove a bolt here that bolts into the fender, remove that, and then this is just flexible removes up and down and there is a bolt there that remove one of these two spots or maybe both of these spots bolt into the fender so get all the stuff underneath the engine removed or unbolted first it's going to make your job a lot easier you also want to remove the air box which the air box goes right in here and it's just a screwdriver that you remove right there and loosen that up and it'll come out. There is a bar that goes from here. There's a bar that goes from here over to here that you need to remove. Um, there's going to, everything on this is either 10 millimeter or 13 millimeter sockets, okay? Right here, you have to remove this uh, plastic piece here and then you can access, there's a bolt right there and two 13 millimeters here. And then you come around to the front, you remove the headlight, which is mounted here with a 10 millimeter bolt. And there may be one other bolt on the headlight. Um, also 13 millimeters right here, three. Um, you'll need to remove this splash shield and most of these are held in with these push-in clips like this, you pry the top up and pull them out. Actually, here's, this is one of them right here. There are two eight millimeter, I'm sorry, there is an eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolts right here that, that mount this in. The rest of them are push-in clips. I use this tool right here to remove those clips. You get in there, pry that top up, and then you can pull them out all the way. You do have a 13 millimeter bolt straight up from the bottom into the bottom of this uh, body, through the fender into the body, okay? When you open the door, one right there, one right there, that'll free this up. You're gonna have to either remove these here you have to remove these here or unless you want to bring the hinge with it you can just take the hood off another 13 13 13 on the two on the other side and you can take this hinge off with if you remove those bolts you can take this fender off with the hinge these do have to be removed though because those are mounted to the body okay and the jam there so you need to remove those um, this hinge is still mounted here and it's still mounted down here. So I believe that's everything. Um, <clears throat> the bumper just snaps into place here. So that can be re removed uh, fairly easy. Um, the headlight, let me just show you the headlight. So this is the headlight and I'll just show you how it mounts. There's two mounting points there. You can see those. Those are 10 millimeters. And then one on the side here. So there is one on the side that mounts right here. There is a bolt on the side of this headlight. It's right here, right here. And it mounts right there. So three bolts on the headlight. And then that can be removed. Hey, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next time.